funny camera angle. I can see you. Hi. He's <laughs> back there. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So just finish up with the session and um, had some really interesting things show up in this one I wanted to share with you all. So there was a moment when this idea of being bored kind of, and I made a, it was really tongue in cheek. It was kind of a joke. Uh, so, you know, often with kids, especially right now that summer started, kids are like, I'm bored. I'm so bored. And we say, it's because you're boring. You're boring. And I realized that some of my clients, they don't tell me this, I'm making a huge assumption, but um, in this one, this last client, we talked about it a bit, that clients show up trying to please me. They really want me to feel good and they want to see me really happy with the touch they give me. And it can look like um, trying to arouse me or it can look like, um, just in any way, they're looking for a response. They're, look, they're looking for that personal like affirmation that they're good, that they're good at touch, or that they can make a woman feel good, or it, it, like, it does something for their self-esteem. And if you've had a session with me, I am so not that person that you want to affirm you because <laughs> I'm like really calm. I don't get aroused with this type of touch. I've been doing this a lot at hundreds, if not like a thousand, over a thousand hours now. I haven't counted recently. And it's not, it doesn't produce that result. So I can see clients leaving and going, well, that was disappointing. That wasn't what I was looking for. If, especially if they're making it about me having this experience with them. And this is what Betty Martin calls, and she's a pro out there in the touch world. She calls this indirect pleasure. I did do a video on this, so please, if you can go down, look for it. Indirect pleasure is when a person who wants to touch someone, but they do it for the other person, hoping that, that person feels pleasure, and then so it's indirect. So then they feel pleasure about creating pleasure for someone else. So it's indirect. They're not, they need someone else to feel pleased for them to feel pleased. Uh, and if that's happening in a session, I, at least if you're with me, you're not going to leave satisfied because I'm not going to probably do the reaction that you hope. I'm looking at you and making sure that you have a fantastic experience. That's why it's so important that clients who are at the Empowered, My Empowered Touch sessions or who are following industry standards around touch, that's why we ask you, what kind of touch would you like? We want to make it about you because this is about you. It's not about my experience with you, it is about your experience. Hi, for those who are watching live, hello. Hello, Autumn. So, that's what the question's about. What do you want? What feels good? And most people have absolutely no idea, so then they come up with something, but they're hoping that you, let's make it about me, they're hoping that I really like it, and that, that I'm showing them, oh yeah, this is fantastic. And then they feel fantastic because I told them I liked it, right? What we really want to have happen in the session is clients to learn how to wake up their hands and feel pleasure with their own contact. So when you're holding me or touching my skin or my face, mm, that you can appreciate the pleasure that comes from your own hands. You are responsible for your own experience here. I'm here with you to witness you, to be with you, to adore you, to love you, to, to give that part to you, to support you in waking up your hands. But then after that, the experience is about you. So going back to the original thought, if you're bored in a touch session, it's that you haven't learned how to use your hands to experience like pleasure or comfort or like you don't know that these are these are essentially asleep <sighs> and kind of so that's why you're bored in touch um, it's because you're not getting what you want out of me basically so anyway I hope this resonates for some of you if you're with a person and you're just kind of bored it's probably because <laughs> that sounds terrible. I feel like I'm like scolding my kids. It's because you're boring. Because <laughs> you're boring. You're boring. Your hands don't know how to experience. And I, I'm reminded the client quite often, especially with men, it's 
they only know how to experience touch with um, their genitals. Is the sound okay, y'all? I don't know if y'all can hear that. Um, they only can experience touch with their genitals and then if their hands are asleep and their genitals are the only way they know how to experience touch, that's a problem. Then that's, that's all they go to. They go to their genitals touching you. <laughs> and it's why people, especially men, want to touch people with genital with their genitals because that's, that's what they know. That's how they know how to experience touch. That is, there are three essential places on the body where it is the most sensitive to touch. So we have um, our lips are really sensitive to touch. Hey y'all. Um, our genitals are really sensitive to touch and our hands. But we have, most people don't have these hands on. So genitals are the place we go to. Okay, <laughs> I could probably continue talking about this forever. Smooches to all of you. Don't be boring in touch. Learn how to wake up your hands and experience, be responsible for experiencing pleasure with your own hands, not the pleasure of your partner. That was basically the idea. All right, bye y'all. See, look, look, look at me. Bye. <laughs> bye.